Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are continuing on with the construction of the kind of inner district area and I want to actually work on this whole island. So I've pretty much started with just some basic road layouts and um, so I showed you guys this part that I worked on off camera in the last episode I think. So for this part here I kind of want to do just like some huge housing blocks kind of like these types of buildings here. I'm not sure if I showed you guys this part either but I think I did this off camera. So I want to do kind of like these kind of would you call these Russian or Soviet type style kind of building so I want to kind of I want to do those in here and um, as we kind of work our way down here uh, the density gets lower and lower and lower since it's getting further away from the city um, and then I was thinking the train line will probably I'll probably put it down this one here so for now this will just be pretty much residential commercial maybe some office and uh, we won't worry about public transport until later so the train will go along here and I can easily just connect it up so I've added in this building which is actually a leisure building is it a unique building so it's the Hyde condos and um, I just thought it looked good so I just put it in anyway so let us begin so this this road here kind of just goes down here because I thought I thought it would be too much to put another road that goes directly through here so they can easily just connect up through there or they can connect up through the little roads that will be going through here so let us begin actually this is a different type of road isn't it you can see the color is not the same so let's update that that's what I want okay so I'm just going to do some very basic blocks see and then we're using that type of road again and we might do one that goes that's kind of weird um, how do we want to put it like that I guess and then if we can kind of get it to be a little bit straight kind of I don't know um, so let's just make this a little bit straighter so this this episode I'm going to be it's going to be a little bit longer as well since you guys seem to like those ones more generally you guys like it like longer videos so let's fill in this area first so I want to do the uh, the tenement I think they're called tenement and this must be an American phrase because we don't use these this word here but I want to fill it in with these types of buildings and uh, in the middle will kind of just be a green space a park so that's kind of like a very old style so if we and I don't want to do really huge buildings either but for like these part along here we can probably do it because it's a little bit closer to the downtown but as we get away from the downtown it's going to be less okay here they are this is what I was looking for so let's just put them it's close to the train line but I mean can't be too picky some people <laughs> put it there and we might just put in a couple of random ones maybe put this one like there maybe this one actually you can put one right there what else do we have I really like these types of buildings if I'm being honest um, we'll just put in a couple more random big ones then we'll fill it in with some smaller size ones like, like that and can I actually put them over here without it no it's going to make the terrain build up I have these really long buildings as well so I kind of want to like mush them together to make like one building complex um, we'll leave a little space there for them to walk in we might drag it over a tiny little bit like like this just like that um, that one is a bit too long
Okay, so that's kind of all of the buildings that I want to do for residential and I found this very interesting building right here And I didn't know that I downloaded it. So how many people? 32 32 households and it's Western Autos and yeah, it's a very interesting shape. I didn't know I downloaded it. So and uh, I guess it fits in so I kind of wanted to continue on the theme of these ones to this side over here And a lot of these buildings are in my mods and asset list if you're wondering and so before I move on um, with detailing I want to add in just a few commercial buildings like on the corners of these buildings so having a little just a few commercial buildings is probably quite realistic because like they're corner stores so let's find a small one that we can easily fit in maybe like maybe like that those ones um, we can put another one there I guess um, can we fit a little one in here? That one's a little too small. Um, that one, that's good. And maybe you can fit one right there. And so this is quite a big green space in there to work with. And okay, maybe that's enough. We got one there, one there. I can maybe put that one there. So we got one there, got one there. Okay, I think I think that's good. And when I placed these buildings, it did actually move the terrain up a little bit. It's kind of it's below the sea level, except for that one. So it's not too much of a big worry for me. And I might just drag this over a little because it's such a wasted little bit of space anyway. So let's just drag it over and bring it down like that. And quick, just quickly, someone asked me, how do I make my visuals look like this actually hang on the terrain is a little high let's just bring that down a little okay someone asked me how do I make my visuals look like this so what I use is all I use is this one here the ultimate eye candy 1.52 and I have it pre like I made my own but for you to make it look exactly like mine all you need to do is get the Aurora Borealis theme, so I'll put that in my mods and asset list, uh, and then I use the latitude, so the time of day is nothing, day and night cycle is disabled, and so latitude is 52, so it just gives a bit of a shadow, longitude is 51, and then global light intensity 2.15, and then the light is quite high, so you can just take a picture of that, and you should be able to replicate how I've got it looking, and I'm seeing over here this some power issue or something? No? Okay, that's strange. Why are they saying they have no power? Is it cut off or... I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's happening. It's saying it has no power but it's still connected. Could it be because I, I always use this little one here which is probably not going to be very powerful? Maybe I can slip in another power connection there maybe that will help did it I think it did that it helped that one anyway oh well they seem to be fine moving on back down to here okay so I'm just going to detail these areas and I'll be back
that is the first part of the island done and I think it um, looks looks good fits in quite well with the overall look it's not too high not too low and definitely am liking the style so um, so let me let me know what you think of that okay what we want to do now what we want to do now is probably fill in this area here and I'm not sure how I want to do it so I could add a road straight down here but I don't want to because then it might cause a lot of people to use this small road as a really busy road and I want I don't want it like that so I want this road to be kind of a quiet road so I'm not going to actually connect it in such a obvious clean way so so let's just design this out a little bit if I can without making it look really bad oh, I hate the road guidelines it's so annoying just turn it all off please just go just go So we might put it there, but we're not going to connect it because it's really close to this big intersection. And honestly, I shouldn't have connected this little road to this intersection, but it's already done. So it just is going to have to be like that. Okay, so we need to get a road kind of through like this. Again, not connecting it. So there's going to be a lot of use on this road here. And we probably can make a connection no actually I don't want it right there make it a little bit more straighter we can put it like there but see it's not really connecting anyway so it still has the medium in the middle so it's not not causing any issue um, okay we can bring this one maybe over like that and then we can extend it along there extend this one along here like that a bit of waterfront living okay and then I thought I'd just leave this bit of terrain as just natural for now I'm not sure if I want to update it to something more nicer but okay so let's let's fill it in a little bit now uh, we have actually no demand at the moment but oh well so maybe how is the zoning how does the zoning look does it look good enough okay it looks good enough so let's just do it like this so we put in a whole lot of uh, commercial along the more busy parts of the road so like this and then on the inner parts will be residential just like so and I'm going to be naughty and use this mod since there's really no, no, no demand and if we don't use this mod we're gonna be here for a really really long time before anything starts to build so we're going to use it okay water 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 Actually, let's just do the whole rest of the island while we're there Okay guys, so I just filled it in manually and I suddenly noticed there is a huge influx of ambulances. It's it's very strange, like I, I just hit play and they all spawned. Um, so what is going on? Okay, so we need to fix up the turning lanes here, but why are they all coming? Why are they all coming in here? Oh, so they're all complaining that there's some noise. So what is the noise pollution? So it is quite a noisy area. What is causing all the noise? That that's that's strange. Is it, is it this building here? I don't know. That's that's strange because it's residential. There's nothing out of the ordinary here. But while while they're doing their thing, the ambulances, let's fix up the turning lanes just quickly. Okay, so they can only turn left, left, left. Okay, this one they can't turn right. We go up here. This one. Uh, this one actually so they can't turn right this road here they can only turn left same with this one they can only turn left and just to make it easier let's say they can only turn left here and then so this one they can only go left again uh, this one they can't go right that's good this one they can only go left and I guess that's fine if they want to turn in there there's traffic lights so they can only go out this way and then these ones are still trying to cross here for some reason 
even though I already banned them from turning, so I don't know, don't know why they're doing that still, because usually they stop doing it instantly. I really don't know why there's so much noise. Is it, is it actually these buildings? Because if we have a look in here, I don't know. It's so strange. I put it in a little clinic here, so hopefully that, that could help, but now, like, literally everyone died. So I, I don't know what happened, because, like, yeah, there's commercial buildings next to residential, and usually it's not a huge issue. Okay, guys, so since this is a main road here, we don't want to add too many connections because it's going to cause any congestion. So we're going to use this existing road here, and we're quite limited for space. We're quite limited for space, so uh, we're probably not going to do nothing too fancy. Uh, we might just bring it along here so it pretty much follows the shoreline anyway. And why not just connect it up there? Simple. So that is good. I mean, we could even get away with just leaving it like that because there's not going to be a huge amount of cars needing to get onto this road anyway. And like I said, we don't want to add too many connections on here. So we probably could get away with adding in... Uh, this road here, actually, it's, that's way too low. Or well, maybe I'll just leave it like that. Give us something interesting to work with. So, bring it along here. Again, let's just follow the shoreline. And where can we connect it? We can... Oh, stupid guidelines. We can just connect it kind of in the middle, I guess. Like that. And so this, this just gives us a bit of something interesting to work with. And I thought, why not use the mini road here? Like so. And then bring it down on a bit of an angle. Actually, why is it raising up like that? I don't want it to raise up. Like that. So that gives us something to work with. And I think we can, we can get away with not having too many connections here. Let's press play so this area can work itself out in terms of all of those issues that it just had. And while we're here, let's add in some connections, some pathway connections, just so it's done anyway. Like that, again, turn it off, it's so annoying. Um, let's bring one through here. And then there's this awkward space here, so let's put that one there. I might leave this open, just because it's really thin. And let's do another connection over here, like so. And maybe one straight down through there. And maybe another one here where there's a bit of a gap, like so. Okay, that's good. So, let us do maybe just a little bit of office here on the more busier part, like so. Actually, I don't want it at the back like that. I don't want it there. This will be residential back here. Um, and then we can do just, I guess, some low commercial as we get further away from the downtown. I might just... I might manually place a building here because it's a bit of a odd shape. So let's just find something that will fit nicely. What about this one? Like that. that, that that's okay, I think. Okay, okay. And we might continue on some commercial medium density up here. And then also this little part here. And then all of the, all of the inner areas will be residential. Okay, so now we have a bit of a main street shopping district. And, um... This, this, oh my god, it looks so compact, compared to, compared to this side, it is very compact. How many people live here? Three and a, 3,800, okay, so quite a lot. So let's just fill in the other side here, and I think it'll still be medium density, just not as much as these guys up here.
Okay guys, so I just added in a very quick slip on and off lane here. Uh, for now, that's all I'm going to do for that. It's just something quickly that may or may, may not help relieve traffic. And I've noticed the colours between the different roads is different, whereas before it wasn't. So I must have downloaded some kind of mod that changed the colours or something. So I'll figure that out after I end this video. But um, speaking of the end, uh, this is pretty much it if I just close it so I added in this little uh, bridge here so this is where one of the next train stations will be probably right here so I added in this little uh, I think this is what the zoo pathway or something just so they can connect up from that side to this side and yeah so this is the finished um, this is the finished image so it uh, definitely has the the look that I was going for, so it's quite big buildings here, and then slowly works its way down, 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 down to really low. So these over here, from like this point on, it's going to be very low density, very sprawled out, not dense at all, and um, so that's a very realistic, quite. So that's quite a realistic image, and yeah, I hope that these roads don't get too congested at like these intersections at right here, but. I really tried not to make too many intersections overall. I may have to do time traffic lights for this one in the future because it's going to be such a big busy intersection with so many cars going in so many different ways. So it looks like the the noise pollution and, and all of the death issues has fixed itself in this area if we look. So that's good that they fixed themselves. So this area is pretty much working uh, how I wanted it to work now and um, yeah so a lot of you guys have been giving me a lot of great suggestions what I should work on next and there's a lot to go through but nonetheless that's really good so it's really helpful um, to see that you guys are still really into this city and San Petersburg is pretty much officially dead I always try it but it just it just doesn't work and I downloaded all of the mods and just I don't know it just doesn't want to work so anyway so this this is the end product I'm quite pleased with it I just hope none of the buildings disappear because when I when I logged in, uh, when I came to the city just before, some of the buildings were missing that I had placed manually. So hopefully they're not gone. So there's a lot of people using this pathway. So that's actually quite good that there's a lot, and there's a lot using this one as well. And what about the bridges? A lot of people walking here. Not really. This one, not many. But I mean, there's not really my. There's not really anywhere to walk to just yet. So yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this this area. It's quite compact, but it's exactly how I wanted it. And I really do like this building here. At Western Order, I don't remember downloading it, so I really don't. I should have added in like some seating areas there or something. So anyway, that is all for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be back very, very soon with another video. And also the city review video will be out very very soon within the next few days so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time bye for now